So far, Ollie and Natalie are completely smitten in the dark, and Charlotte's beaten the competition to win Chris over. I've been on other dates and I just didn't want to be there. But will 10 seconds of light kill all the chemistry? Let's find out. After falling for each other in the dark, Chris and Charlotte are about to see each other for the very first time. We've had a few fantastic dates, and now seeing what each other looks like will be absolutely fantastic. I'm really interested to know what Chris looks like. He might look like a model, like Hugo Boss model, he might be. That'd be nice. So you know Charlotte's a model. What do you think she looks like? I'm thinking sort of glamorous sort of type, maybe big up front, but very, very slim and very good looking. And how are you going to feel if it doesn't all add up when you see him finally? I'm half expecting him not to be my type because I am quite picky. But, I mean, it would be really nice if he was. Before the light came on, palms got a bit sweaty. I thought my heart was going to jump out literally off my body. If I was in a bar and Chris was in there, I don't think I'd really notice him. It's not my type. I don't go for blonde, spiky hair. You looked a little bit disappointed, I'm not going to lie. What's going on? I was expecting Miss Universe, and I got Miss Salford. What? Are you joking? No. She's good looking. Yeah. But I think I built her up way too much. She's gorgeous. What's wrong with you? I probably might approach her in a bar, but I really don't know whether I really truly fancy her. Some people are too picky for their own good. Thankfully, the final couple to step into the light are our locked-up estate agents, Ollie and Natalie. My concerns about the light reveal for the last few days are just going to have been a waste because I've got to know someone and I've started to fall for someone and then if I see them and they're not attractive, it's just all ruined. If, on the off chance, she looks like Shrek, I'll be massively gutted, but... I honestly can't say what, where I'm going to go from there. I don't know. Natalie, is this a big moment for you? It's a massive moment. I'm really into looks. I'm, I'm quite shallow like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we've, I've gotten so well with him, I just want everything to match now, like every box to be ticked. In the dark, Ollie's my ideal man, but it really does still matter what he looks like in the light. He needs to have the whole package, because I'm not going to settle for less. first reaction was a little bit disappointed. He looks quite young, his voice very mature, very deep, and I expect him to kind of look a lot older. When the lights came on her, you looked actually, if anything, disappointed. What was going through your mind? I've been trying to work out whether or not she's the type of girl that I'd go and talk to in a bar, and I don't know whether she is or not, mm. but it doesn't mean I'm not attracted to her. It was confusion when it came on. I had a mental image of her in my mind, and it didn't match it at all. So it was just massive, massive, massive confusion. It was really bizarre. Yeah, but I'm going to cry. I'm so shallow. I'm so shallow, aren't I? I shouldn't care. Because he's like, 
not awful at all. He's got really good looking. But I feel like am I just convincing myself is he good looking? Coming up next, will Chris meet his Miss Salford? Has the light killed off Dan and Siobhan's chemistry? And can Natalie look beyond Ollie's looks?